Oh, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Greetings and salutations. I had a very, very rough night. Pentecost speaks volumes. Volumes. Oh, the hate crimes have increased. Oh, this is... <laughs> the post office is opening my mail. Opening my mail. Oh, uh, they haven't done it at the post office where we have a mailbox. It's here. And I would not have seen it if David haven't pointed it out. <laughs> anyway, uh, they did it in Hood, Koreatown, Los Angeles. There, the post office of Westmoreland and Paco, the black people, would leave the mailboxes down and people would go through them. In Portland, Oregon, David owes me a lot of money. David could never pay me everything he owes me. We had agreed he would give me a hundred out of each of his checks. He was giving his a sister, his niece, oh, I mean, no, the mother of the sister and niece, uh, most of his check. Anyway. And then Westport. Get back here. Let me get back here with me. I lose my train of thought because I am under severe, severe, methodical, systematic. <laughs> They're trying to drive me crazy. Killing me isn't quick enough. Surprise, David had sent me my money. Oh, the, the steward, and that is Mr. Nivar, on Broadway and Burnside, their tenant, who that bowl was had to be put down, would open my mail and bring me what was the contents. Uh, this was in the 21st century. This was 2015. Uh, Savaz, they're doing it here. I want to ask Bakersfield, well, they don't got no Christians. Uh, the woman that was raised with me. Uh, <laughs> what can I say? Anyway, uh, they're opening, God bless the child, they're opening my mail. President Trump, who would benefit by reading my mail? Who? I know that Kern County Environmental House budget in motel are uh, human traffickers. Uh, they have a whole house in room 129. Oh, uh, I know for a fact that they do have a slave. I know for a fact that Paul the Mexicans up in one room charge them a horrible, horrible price. And they refuse to take out the trash. Now, I know for a fact that this Vietnamese mm, manager has the key to those mailboxes. Uh, it must, it has to be the person delivering the mail. Uh, I'm going to try to catch him today. I'm going to sit out there at five and I'm going to wait for him. Uh, anyway, okay. So much. 
It's like with President Trump. I mean, Obama is treason. And no one is talking it. Not Fox News, not, nobody's talking about it. We don't expect Rachel Maydow $10 million a year. Oh my God, you you do as good as J.D. Jake or Joel Olstein. Know what we the people go through who support God, country, and president is I have endured it since before 2015. And yet, you see Rupert Murdoch, oh no, they're not going to say nothing, 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 nothing about Obama's treason or Loretta Lynch, Attorney General. I tell you, you put a black person in charge and they'll become a Lyle Martin, Chief of Police. Anyway, uh, Oh my God, it's like the Holy Ghost. Ah, uh, hard on truth. I mean, just giving me truth every time, every day, every day, all night, every day, every day. Okay, David, and this is on YouTube. YouTube. When I return to Pedophilia, Eric Garcetti's Los Angeles, David was beating the shit out of me. I mean, and I wanted to go back to Texas. I just, I, the very first day when I arrived, it was David and Alejandra who picked me up at the airport. That was his whore. <laughs> One of them. <laughs> uh, anyway, I had to leave. I had to walk away. I, I went to Vermont, right across the car station, into the very same donut shop he used to go. And I just, I just sat there, silent tears. I could not have stayed in Texas. They told me, the doctor told me, she, you stay in Texas and you're going to die of breast cancer. They told my nieces, my nieces, that I had breast cancer, and the bitches didn't even tell me about it, but I already knew it. Or I would not have come back. And it started, the beating started right away, right away. Okay, that, I survived that. And then, oh, the neighborhood, oh my God. David Spray was raised in Washington State. Uh, they have an island of pedophilia. Anyway, it was very, very rough. Very hard. Then I knew I had to get out. Uh, Diana Carabajal Sanchez refused to help me. And I paid them back. They haven't helped me but once. And that's when Mama died, when Mama was in the hospital. Diana Sanchez got out of a hall in Puerto Vallarta, Texas. No, Diana got out of a hall Sanchez in Puerto Vallarta, Texas. <laughs> Belize, her brother in law, Fernando Sanchez. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, it was horrible. <gasps> Pedophilia left and right, and they, then they were trying to harm me. Then his whore gang women, I mean, they were children. Uh, it was just awful, awful, awful. I called, because I, I tried to get into an SRO in Los Angeles. I kept running into homosexual Mexicans in charge. And they're just as bad as the homosexuals, the white ones, at the SROs in Seattle.
They decide where they're going to put you. It's not fair play. Anyway, and then we got out, and it was horrible. The cops on 11th and Vermont made the gangs sit there and watch us. They had already told me that if I didn't get off, to get off the streets, because MS-13 was going to kill me. Mind you, David was fucking them. Oh! <laughs> anyway, man and woman, suffice. I had called Diana once. I called Lizzie once. And no, they're lost in their bullshit. And Lizzie, Elizabeth, got a hawk way off. What you said as a four-year-old or a three-year-old was a lie. And Juan Pérez Peña, the bastard of Olga Pérez. And you lied for a lifetime, Elizabeth. A fucking lifetime. I was stunned when Dee Dee was telling me. And she would look at me. And I was, what kind of shit? Elizabeth, I will go into your mind to know. Elizabeth, has Juanito died of cancer yet? Has he? Has Juanito died? Does Juanito's sons know what he did to me? Anyway, I had no choice. I was stuck. I mean, and then when we left, I mean, he let my uh, Patches go out. Eventually, he killed Patches. Uh, he let Patches also go out. Lose. Everybody was laughing. It, it was just because that is what it, he is. But he is. Then we went to, well, from here, finally we made it to Portland. <gasps> you see what he did in Portland. And he was only there a few hours. And what they did to me in Portland. Mm. No, law enforcement is the FBI. It is. And, uh, uh, Hannity, you wear as many pins of the Federal Bureau of Investigation as you want, baby. You can even put it on your Speedo. Because Hannity, not you, not your children, not nobody, nobody has had... A, 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 a gang member point a finger, bang, 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 I'm going to kill you. You call the cop and never come. No, Hannity, you wear your FBI. And know this, Hannity, why don't you speak more of Obama's treason? And then, oh, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God, thank God. Geraldo Rivera, best buddy of the Clintons. Look at Rivera when he does an interview. He cannot help himself. He's like a bed bug. If there's a woman, a young one, he's going to go for it like a bed bug. No, your, your people on Fox, Shepard is treason. Juan Williams? No, Hannity. Y'all are a rancho meadow, for you are there to promote an agenda. Make money. Make money. Anyway, oh, there's so much to say, and I'm, I'm going to go, I'm going to go wash the dishes. I cannot believe what he's doing now. And it's very, how do you call it? It's very passive. Very passive. 
uh, Pentecostal me. Oh, <laughs> it's ridiculous. And she said, I cannot see. By David's nature, remember he had, he was born in Northern, in Seattle to a white woman. <laughs> oh, David by nature is very dirty. David can, very dirty. I am very clean. <gasps> very clean. I don't like to do it myself. I get someone to do it for me. God bless the child. I get a maid or somebody. Pay for five hours, eight hours, whatever. Do you know what this little bitch is doing? I'm not too sure, but I think the sheet is black. I had, we lived here three months before I finally got my pillows. They're my CPAC. Oh, uh, we, I've never had roaches. I've moved into places that had roaches, like Kern County, environmental health, budget in motel, God bless the child. Oh, uh, and go, I go to YouTube. Right away, I know how to do it. Well, I'm starting because of my uh, glucose being normal. I am starting. I can, it's just a veil. I can see the color. I can even, I, can, I bet I could even draw the car. I could draw the whole scene. But it's a veil. A veil. Anyway, this morning I got up to use the restroom, the bathroom. David is like you, very juvenile. He's not a rocket science. So he's going to do things that he knows has worked before. I go and sit on the toilet. My my sweet black bad ox, but ox, was washed. Was washed. I felt like just going off on him. But for what? That's what he wants. David. <laughs> That's what he wants. I sat there in the bowl of dirty water. My EP didn't flush. Dirty water. And I started to laugh. And the Holy Ghost. Have you ever heard God laugh? And I, I. No. Nothing I do. Will change David. Nothing. Oh. And all he thinks is survival for himself. He's a sociopath. Like is uh, this Vietnamese landlord, as is the United States Congress. Uh, as is Trey Gowdy. Trey Gowdy is the sociopath. He is. Anyway. And then the Holy Ghost. It was like a, a movie film showing me everything he has done. No, David's intent is for me to die like he lived. Like he lived. Oh, uh, there was this guy, it's right here by Will, uh, we'll go by there, you can see it. It's KKK, they got a real flag out there. Um, it's white trash. God, thank God. Ask Patty about it. It's, we, I just couldn't believe it. On the seat on the couch was one of their tenants eating out of a pot. And I've spoken about it often. <sighs> oh, David. 
is fitting me out of a corning where fog. I know a lot of the dishes that he's broken, but there's still a dish to transfer because we only have one now. The uh, grids to a glass dish and put David. Oh, I tell you, it is ridiculous. David wants me. No, we're getting rid of these roaches. I was stunned. I go in the other room, turn on the light. I was fucking stunned. And it's easy. I have a cup of sugar. I have a cup of hot borax. Four, eight. Yolks. In other words, you boil the eggs and you make a book. And he won't do them. Now, uh, uh, no, David's intent is like you're not going to believe it. When we arrive, this person, and she wasn't bad all the time, she would say, because I told them, I want, we were going to get a three bedroom. But you know how the Oaks community churches, they hire shit. Uh, no, the Mexican said it was for Patty and for her damn illegal sister. Anyway, uh, she would say, yeah, you be in your room and you don't come out, we'll lock the door and we'll beat you like baby Jane. She said it so much, I knew she meant it. I knew she meant it. When we first got, oh, you, telling us we could, uh, that now here in Bakersfield, you can give a house so much money and they let you park and they're outside in front of their house. They don't let you use the restroom. And I would ask her, why are you telling me these things? Why? Anyway, no, no, no. Hell no. This is my apartment. They got people here that don't even have a um, lace. They have drug addicts that come here, and, 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 and this is their place. They have stolen the gas can. And they're going to fuck, keep fucking with the truck. Oh, no. Hell no. And I got, I was telling this son bitch, oh, no, baby. Uh-uh. We're going to, I'm going to put his ass to work today, and I'm going to do a video. Uh, I'm going to put this sheet in Clorox and put the other one on. Uh, I, I keep it because of the onslaught. But, uh, I, uh. I cleaned it. Oh, David. Well, he can't beat me no more. He really can't. I'll ask him at the Cranberry Motel on Westport, Washington. 902 South Montesano. The Holy Ghost picked him up by the neck and threw him off of me. He was choking me. So now he's going the other route. What's going to happen? Oh, God. I can't work. And it is true what Dr. Dongle, uh, Dougal said. Of the death chambers of Bakersfield Family Medical Center. Bakersfield, California will not help me. Will not help me. Oh, uh, I told him by three boxes. Oh, guess what? I'm living like a convict. On soups. Not type ramen, might as well be. Oh, my God. Because his need for marijuana is so strong. I'm stunned. 
Oh no. <laughs> President Trump, the United States Post Office is opening my mail. Just like Barack Hussein Obama ordered the DOJ, the FBI, the CIA, even the Secret Service to bring you down. There, God bless the child. Anyway, let me get ready. I gotta see what time it is. Um, I gotta go do the dishes. Um, I can't believe this song, bitch. To be so stupid. David knows what's waiting for him. David knows what's waiting for him. I'm going to ask you, how would it be any different? How? Anyway, Daka, Obama is treason. Everything he did is null and void. You people are evil. You're like my, what was my family. Them bitches are evil. You gotta be politically correct. Oh, I remember. When I arrived, Kathy got a whole fuck on. Kathy, is it true that Lizzie tried to fuck your husband? Don't worry, don't worry. I went through the same thing with Patty. Anyway, um, her daughter was marrying. They didn't even invite me to the wedding. Kathy, you did the same thing on your wedding. Your reward, Katarina. Nadie. Tu regalo. So if I let me upload this. God dang it. But you know. When you turn to God. And I don't mean Joel Osteen. <gasps> what a let down. I knew there was something wrong. We started to see it. And then there was something wrong. Something wrong. And I knew it was Joel Osteen's. But then. I see Obama's spiritual advisor. All we needed was Oprah there. Incredible. No, uh, I will not go blind. I will only let one eye at a time be repaired. And I will tell him why. Uh, as far as this thing, um... He, he already working his way down, but I'm going to use him while I can. And not use him like uh, James Sheridan Jr. did, Pimp and Trey. Or like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not even going to do like the women did. Like Alejandro and all of them. Oh, no, 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 no. First, he lives here. He's going to clean this. I'm going to get me a washboard. Uh, and he's going to be doing his clothes. I mean, those towels. I, 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 I need towels. I need sheets. I'm not going to buy a bed. Oh, I want him out of this room. Everybody. If they cannot separate, they go into another room. Another room. And it's... There should be peace. But no. Oh, no, David ain't gonna bring these, this shit from here. Are you crazy? Male or female? Will the orchards? It depends on which part you're in. Uh, anyway, let me upload this because there's so much to say. And oh, Everything is compromised. I began to file complaints with Florida. Oh no. Oh, I'm sorry, President Trump. Well, no, 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 I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, Florida must go blue. Rick Scott is like Kevin Newsom. 
Rick Scott is like Paul Ryan. Anyway, I gotta take my bitch out. They're gonna be stunned. Anyway, let me get this out going.